So guys, this is uh, my uh, sort of new car. I've been having it since October. Just been working on it. 2001 Ford Mustang Bullet. True blue color. It's one of 700 or so. Just a little walk around. The off-road H-pipe. Just got finished putting in the stereo for now. Still got to put in a couple pieces. Um, it was Crescendo Audio. We got the PWX six, six and a half inch uh, mid drivers, and then the FT1 Super Tweets. I got six and a half Super Tweets, Super Tweets six and a half. Uh, I will try to pretty up those tweeters. Those are just temporary right now. Just to get them in. And this is what the rear deck is looking like. Put some dynamat in some areas where it was making some noise. And then this ZV410. Just finish that box. It's uh, about two cubes, 232 hertz. Got the little 45s in there. Not too sure you could even see that. But all corners are 45. The inside is resined. Front is double baffled. Um, let me show you the back of it. And I also sound deadened the whole car too. Even the floorboard, everything up to the dash. Like my little rugs too. I went and got those. Those wires are just for the window module that's going in for the alarm. Oh, put the same deck that was in my Honda. So that's how my trunk's looking like. Still got a decent amount of trunk space. I'm gonna put a beauty panel in the back of here so it just pretties it up a little bit more. Some exposed wire just from the box. I didn't go the bolted way, I just drilled a hole and put some silicone through it. Um, got the Alpine PDX 4.150 up here in the rear deck. Just to show you the little magnet size. Uh, I'm running uh, this as a passive setup with the crossover. I didn't want to run uh, multiple amplifiers, so it sounds pretty good for my uh, ears, so not too bad. And then I got the subwoofer amp down here, just a Hyphonics. 2400 it's only it's running at two ohms right now too so it's only really seen about 1700 watts um, just to show you guys some parts that I deadened you can sort of see it in the rear seat here see that shiny stuff the whole floorboard everything's uh, deadened so Sounds pretty good and actually surprised. I was I did not do the roof. The the only thing that's not deadened is the headliner. Um, I was having a hard time pulling that off and I didn't want to break it. It's like a hundred something dollar piece. So but it actually does pretty good. Um, as for deadening the sound. Here, I'll give you guys a demo. Whoa. The only thing you could really hear is the mids going off. But as for the sub, 
I don't really get much rattle or anything. I get it from the bumper flaps here. You can you can sort of hear the bumper flaps, but that's about it. But for the the roof and everything else, it's good. Let's see if I can get some flex. So, baseline cut off. Only one door. Just to keep in mind, too, the PDX amps that the lows gain. I didn't even turn it up. So yeah, just a little update for now. Uh, we'll be doing some more work sometime soon, but pretty good. Uh, the reason why I also did the whole car too is first uh, my heater core went out. So when I had the dash out, I was like, forget it, I'll gut everything out. And uh, dead in from the, the firewall to the very back to the tail lights. And uh, it actually helped a lot with my uh, Catalyst H-pipe. I, I could barely hear the road noise. It's as if I had a, my stock exhaust on here, so I'll rev it up for you. And then with the door open, But yeah, that's about it. Uh, more updates to come. Uh, as for performance, I'm just going to be doing maybe 410 gears, cold air intake with the tuner, and uh, I might go with underdrive pulleys. I'm not too sure yet. Don't want to go too crazy on this. So uh, yeah, stay tuned.